Whoa, sorry about that, guys. Whew, running a little behind. Okay, so look. So we've done our videos, and now we're getting ready to do the uh, video where we have, we're doing the access protocol now, right, on this RXSR. Now, I've already done the update. Let me show you what I'm working on here because I kind of did a little bit of work while um, I was saving the video we just did. So let me show you what I've done here. Hold on one second. There we go. Okay, so I was playing around with this a little bit, and I was trying to figure out why everybody's having a hard time between the S port or S bus protocol. We're using S bus and using F port, and I finally figured out what it was. So we're going to start from scratch here, right? And I'm going to power this down, and I'm going to show you exactly what we're doing. Okay. So one of the things that I think is important is let me just disconnect this real paused. quickly. Okay. So what we've done is we've done the ACCST D16 uh, 2.1.3 or sorry 1.1.3. Then we did the D16 2.1.0 F port. Then we did the D16, uh, uh, the ACCST D16 2.1.0 SBUS with telemetry through the S port. Now we're doing the access protocol. So what I did here first, and I've already done this part between the videos, is I went to menu, and then page, and then I went to my firmware, and I went to my FreeSky RX firmware, and I went to the new option at the top. That's the access RXSR version 2.1.0 that you can download from the website. So we've done everything with the RXSR version 2.1.0 non-access, ACCST D16, right? That's the first one that you see. That's this one right here. Now we're going to this one. Now I've already updated this, okay? And there's only one file in this one. So you don't have an option. Let me show you. You don't have an option for like uh, uh, F port or, or, or FCC or whatever uh, like you do. You see, if you click this one, you have FCC and then you have F port FCC. When you do the uh, access one, sorry, uh, menu and then page from where, when you do the access version right here, you only have, my God, I'm sorry, I'm not good with this little stupid dial thing. You only have one file, okay? So everything is contained in that. I'm gonna show you exactly how that works. All right, so by default though, um, it's gonna load and it's gonna have the default set to work with SBUS. So with SBUS, you hook it up exactly the same, okay? You're going to <coughs> take the green wire, and you're going to put it on the RX. So I'm going to put on RX for the UART, UART 3RX, just like that. Oh, whoops, that's, sorry, that's the yellow wire, my God. So the green wire, this is our S bus. Okay, I'm going to put that on there, and we're done. Now I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to power this up. Okay. And I'm going to come over to my... Um, oh, you know what? I want to bind this first. So let me show you how to bind it, right? Sorry, I meant to bind it real quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my radio, and I'm going to tell it to go to... I'm going to hit menu, and then go to page. That's my model. And I'm gonna go up to my, I'm gonna go up because usually we're at ACCST D16, right? But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it over to access right here. I'm gonna leave the number four because that's my model number which matches my RX number. And I'm gonna go to my registration, right? Because I, I wanna register now. Uh, let me see where am I at? Okay, 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 okay. So what we wanna do here is we wanna go to module and then we're gonna find register right here. We're gonna click that. You're gonna hear it chirping. And while that's going on, we're gonna hold the bind button down and we're gonna give it power and watch. See how it uh, populated, right? It populated and gave us a name too, RS, RXSR. So I'm gonna hit enter and accept that. And then it's gonna say registration okay. I'm gonna hit enter again. And now I'm gonna exit out to the main screen and I'm gonna power cycle my receiver. Power it off. Okay, now while it's off, I'm gonna hit menu again, go to my model. And this time I'm gonna to go to my receiver and I'm gonna to try to bind to the first one. So I'm gonna hit bind and it's gonna chirp again and it's gonna wait to read the radio, the receiver. So watch, now I'm gonna turn the re receiver on and you're gonna see it say, select RXSR, it found it, okay? So we're gonna hit enter and it says bind so successful. You can click okay and look at that. Receiver one, RXSR. That's what we wanna function with, right? So if you look at our receiver right now, everything looks great. Now you'll notice the blue lights on, but I'm gonna change that real quickly because I've already played with this a little bit. I wanna show you what the problem is. So if you have your S bus connected right now, right? And you're just running to run your S bus, you would have the same settings as you did when you had your S bus running for ACCST D16. Just leave everything as the defaults. It'll find the telemetry and do everything. And let me show you. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this back. So forget, I'm gonna take this off screen because I don't want you to see what I'm doing right now. So let me do this and enter, okay. All right, so, all right, so what you can see now is our blue light's off, all right, and we have our, we're going to connect real quickly. Oh, I don't have my USB here. Okay, and we have our S bus in, so we're going to go connect. We're going to go to our port, and we're going to make sure that our UR3, and we're going to leave our telemetry uh, smart port for six, like we had it when it was ACCSDD16, okay? So now watch, this is going to be great. 
So as soon as it reboots, I'm going to connect. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to have my receiver. Uh, oh, I have to go to configuration. Let me go ahead and take this off. Go to S bus. Click save and reboot. All right. Awesome. Now when I go to receiver, uh, you know what? I need to change my defaults. Uh, let me see. sure I have that so let's go to the menu page and bear with me a second okay okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go set because I was playing with these defaults let me go ahead and get my stuff back to normal so I'm gonna go to defaults okay sorry I meant to do that before and it didn't let me just go ahead and knock that out real quick When all else fails, go back to defaults. That's usually the good rule of thumb here. Let me set like this for F port, or sorry, smart port. Click save and reboot. Connect. Okay, configuration. Let's go ahead and select S bus. So here we go. We'll do S bus right here. Click save and reboot. connect and we have our receiver back up okay so everything's good here save and there we go okay we've got everything going as we need to and check this out see how you have rssi here so now when you're in access mode right when you're running the access firmware this button no longer switches you between s bus and cppm right so let me show you uh so this is what i'm talking about right here let me do this in a split screen okay see watch this i'm gonna hold this button down for a five count one two three four Five. Let go. Look at auxiliary 12. It's gone. That's my RSSI, right? But my RSSI is now gone. Now look, I still have stick control, okay? But my RSSI is gone. So this button now activates RSSI on channel D16, or on channel 16. So watch. Hold it for a five count. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Sorry. You go one, two, three, four, five. Reboots. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Okay, and now let, let me make sure I still have my stick movement here. I do. Now let me go back. I don't know. I pressed it really quick, and it seemed to have done it the other time. Telemetry. Well, I guess you don't even have to hold recovered. it. You just you can just press it. The instructions say to hold it for five seconds. But you don't have to. So now we have RSSI, and you can tell because if I move the radio, you'll see the signal just changing all over the place, right? But check this out. So what happens now is you don't see it here yet. So if you go to your setup screen, you don't see anything for RSSI, right? So in your receiver. Just go ahead and drop down and select channel 12, auxiliary 12, click save. Now you still won't see it come up here yet until you power cycle. So I'm gonna power off my, my, my flight controller. I'm gonna disconnect the USB. Telemetry lost. I'm gonna plug it back in. Power up. Telemetry recovered. And when I log in now, when I connect, you're gonna see this. See how I have RSSI? It's perfect. So I got my RSSI now there, so I can have it on my OSD if I want. All right, and that's one of the features here. The other thing is I can just take this wire now, like I did before, solder to 16. Uh, I'm sorry, solder to TX6, uh, uh, that is, and I'll get my telemetry. So everything is the same. You don't have to change anything. Just from the default, just change it to S bus, do whatever, okay? Here's the kicker, though. Now you want to go to, let's say, F port. What do you do when you want to do F port? Well, let's power this down and see. So I'm going to, whoops, wrong thing. I'm going to power this down. I'm going to disconnect my USB. I'm going to take off Telemetry lost. my, um, my S bus cable. I'm going to take my S port cable and solder it to my TX port. Okay. And I'm going to power everything back on. Let me plug in my USB, power Telemetry everything recovered. on. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to click connect. And I'm going to go to my ports. Uh, I'm going to leave that like that. I'm not running smart port anymore. I'm not running two wires. So I'm going to disable my smart port on UART 6. Okay. Wait for it to reboot. And here's where the tricky, here's where everybody gets tripped up. So I figured this would be real helpful. Okay. I'm going to click connect. Now watch. Under my configuration, I'm going to select F port. Right. Here it goes. S bus. 
F, where the hell is it? Right there. F port, click save and reboot. And at the same time, I'm gonna go to my telemetry screen and I'm gonna delete all my sensors because I want to, I want to delete them all. I'm gonna hit enter. So as you can see now, I have no sensors, right? I just have these three basic ones, right? Okay, so let's click connect again. But now look, I've got nothing. And here's the reason why. This is a screwed up part that, that I mean, this is just a part that's cool though. Don't get me wrong. You have to tell the receiver or the, the receiver you want it to go into F port mode from S bus. And to do that, you have to come over here and you go to hit, hit menu, hit page, go to the receiver, receiver one, RXSR, hit enter, scroll down to options, and look at the options. Okay, you got a seven millisecond PWM, you have telemetry disabled. All right, so here goes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to F port and we're gonna put a check mark right there. Okay, and then we're gonna hit exit, exit. And it's gonna say, do you wanna update it? I'm gonna say yes. Now watch, my blue light is automatically on, okay? Which tells me now that I am now in F port mode, okay? And so now what happens is I'm going to power off. Oh, hold on, I gotta take this call real quick. Sorry guys, I had to take that call. This was one of the schools I need help with one of our students uh, for the drone program. Okay, so what we've got is if we go to receiver now, right? We know we have it set here. We've got the blue light and we've got F port selected, but don't forget, we have to go to our CLI now, okay? We have to do the following. So we're, and you know what, I'm gonna, what's gonna be cool about this is I'm gonna go back to our, our thing here and I'm gonna say uh, menu and then I'm gonna go page, page, and I'm gonna tell it to start uh, detect, uh, stop detect recovery, and then I'm gonna say start, start discovery. Watch. First thing we're going to do is we're going to say set serial rx underscore inverted equals on. And then I'm going to say set serial rx underscore half duplex equals on. I'm going to click save. Now let's watch if we start populating right here. Boom, look at all those. Now we're populating, okay? And if we disconnect and we go back and we go to our receiver and look at that, we are back in business. Awesome. So guys, let's recap on this. ACC ST D16 version 2.1.0 works perfect. ACC ST D16 version 2.1.0 F port works perfect. But in F port, you have to invert on for serial RX and half duplex on for serial RX. If you're doing the standard S bus with the S port as telemetry, then what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna set up your S bus, you're gonna plug in your uh, S port to any TX you, are, you have available and uh, 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 turn on telemetry in your configuration, leave everything else as default and you should be just fine. The same thing goes for the Access version of this. So in Access 2.1.0, if you want to run S bus with S port for your telemetry, leave it just like you did for the ACC STD16. However, when you want to do your F port, you have to go into your radio and you have to go to your receiver and click Options, activate F port, then set the um, uh, Serial RX inverted to be on and the half duplex to be on and you're set. Either way, it works great, it is trouble free. If you have a problem running one, I will tell you, if your radio does not have 2.3.9, like they instruct you to have the newest version, you most likely will fail when you start using the Access 2.1.0. ACC SDD 16 may still be fine, but Access uh, 2.1.0 won't work. Another note to keep in mind is, while the button does interchange between SBUS and CPPM on ACC SDD 16 2.1.0 and 1.1.3, it does not do that in access. So you will not be using that button to switch anymore, okay? So just keep that in mind. At that point, that button is set to activate RSSI on channel 16, which is obviously channel 12 on your uh, beta flight because one through four are being counted in the auxiliaries. So it's pretty awesome. It works really well. I have not been able to have it fail yet. I thought I was going to and it didn't. Very happy with this altogether. If one of yours doesn't work, and I will tell you this so that you're very clear, the radio, the internal RF module can be downgraded back to 1.1.3. Your ACC uh, ST 2.1.0 can be downgraded to 1.1.3.
Your Access 2.1.0 can be downgraded to ACCST D16 2.1.0 or ACCST D16 1.1.3. So either way, if it doesn't work when you keep upgrading, go back down to the most recent one that does work, but most likely it's not going to work if you have not updated your firmware on your radio. Use OpenTX for that and look at one of my videos on updating. All right, guys, look, that's it. That's our four or five, I don't know how many parts this is. It could be four parts, I guess. That's our four part. If you have any questions, go to our Cyclone FPV our, uh, groups page at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Cyclone FPV. Please follow us on Facebook. And as always, just show me some support if you wouldn't mind by subscribing to our YouTube channel right here. All right, guys, God bless. Be safe. And listen, most of all, please go spend time with your family. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh, make the most of it. You never know how much time you have left, guys. So make the most of it while you can. You can always fly later. Talk to you soon. Peace. God bless.